The Amish have long been known for their traditional lifestyle, which extends to their food preservation methods. In a world dominated by modern conveniences, they employ innovative techniques to keep food cold without refrigeration. This video explores the ingenious practices the Amish use to maintain freshness and prevent spoilage. 1. Root Cellars Root cellars have long been a cornerstone of traditional food preservation methods, especially among the Amish community. These underground structures are designed to maintain a stable, cool temperature, ideal for storing a variety of produce, including vegetables and fruits. The concept of root cellars dates back centuries and is rooted in the need to store food long-term without relying on modern refrigeration. By harnessing the natural thermodynamic properties of the earth, root cellars create an environment that slows down the spoilage process, allowing families to enjoy their harvest well into the winter months. The construction of a root cellar is a meticulous process often tailored to the unique geography of the area. Typically, they are built below the frost line, which helps to keep the interior cool and protects the stored produce from freezing temperatures. Amish builders often select locations with good drainage to prevent moisture buildup, which could lead to rot or decay. The materials used can vary. Some root cellars are made of stone, while others may be constructed from wood or earth. Regardless of materials, ventilation is crucial. Proper airflow helps to reduce humidity and prevents mold growth, ensuring that vegetables such as potatoes, carrots, and onions remain fresh for extended periods. One of the significant advantages of utilizing a root cellar is the remarkable shelf life it offers to fruits and vegetables. Many produce items can be stored for months when kept in a root cellar, allowing for a sustained supply of food throughout the winter. For instance, apples can last several months if stored correctly, maintaining both their texture and flavor. Additionally, the cool, humid environment of a root cellar is perfect for foods like squash and cabbage, which can thrive in such conditions. This capability not only reduces waste, but also allows the Amish to practice sustainable living, maximizing the use of what they grow each season. The importance of root cellars in Amish culture extends beyond mere food storage. They embody a lifestyle that values simplicity, self-sufficiency, and a deep connection to the land. The Amish community, known for its agricultural prowess, relies heavily on seasonal produce. By preserving their harvest through root cellars, they ensure their families have access to nutritious foods year-round, reinforcing their commitment to self-reliance. This method also fosters a sense of community, as families often share excess produce, knowing it can be safely stored without the fear of spoilage. Moreover, root cellars are often seen as a way to connect with ancestral practices. The knowledge of how to construct and maintain these vital structures has been passed down through generations, preserving a way of life that is increasingly rare in today's increasingly fast-paced world. Many Amish families take great pride in their root cellars, viewing them as an essential part of their heritage. As these families cultivate the land and enjoy the fruits of their labor, the root cellar stands as a testament to the enduring agricultural traditions of their community. In addition to preserving food, root cellars can also provide a unique opportunity for exploration and engagement with the natural world. Children raised in Amish communities often spend time learning about the vegetables and fruits they harvest, helping to store them in the root cellar. Two Ice Houses The tradition of using ice houses is a remarkable aspect of Amish culture that exemplifies their resourcefulness and connection to the land. Ice houses are specially constructed buildings designed to store ice harvested in winter for use throughout the warmer months. To the untrained eye, these structures may seem like simple wooden sheds, but they are ingeniously built to insulate and preserve the ice, enabling the Amish to keep their perishables cool long before the advent of modern refrigeration. Ice harvesting is an art that requires both skill and precise timing. Typically, the process begins in the colder months when lakes and ponds freeze sufficiently thick. The Amish carefully select areas of solid ice and then cut large blocks using saws or specialized tools. This labor-intensive task is often a communal effort with families and neighbors coming together to lend a hand. The blocks of ice are then transported to the ice house, sometimes requiring a horse-drawn sled in snowy terrain. Durability and handling are critical considerations at this stage, thus great care is taken to minimize damage to the ice blocks. And once inside the ice house, the storage process is just as critical. The design of these structures is deliberate, featuring thick walls often insulated with straw or sawdust, which help to maintain a consistent cool temperature. The ice, stacked meticulously inside, is layered between insulating materials that reduce melting. The ice houses can be relatively large, and their interiors are organized to allow good air circulation, which prevents the ice from succumbing to the warmer summer air. This careful arrangement not only extends the lifespan of the ice, but also ensures that it can cool food items effectively when needed. The versatility of ice storage is particularly notable. Amish families store a variety of perishables, including milk, eggs, meat, and vegetables. The ice allows these items to remain cool and fresh for extended periods, playing a crucial role in food preservation. During summer months, ice can be cut and brought out from the ice house as required, providing a steady supply for cooling food. This practice transforms what could be a daily challenge into a manageable task, allowing families to enjoy fresh food even in the height of summer. Another significant benefit of ice houses is their role in enhancing community bonds. The process of ice harvesting and storage often involves multiple families working together, sharing knowledge and resources. This communal aspect reinforces social ties and reflects the Amish values of cooperation and neighborliness. During ice harvesting, shared meals and fellowship occur, strengthening connections that can sometimes extend into other areas of life beyond food preservation. In addition to practical uses, ice houses also hold a place in Amish tradition and economy. For many communities, they are an essential part of seasonal rhythms, guiding when to plant and harvest crops based on their need for storage. The ice houses may serve as a symbol of self-sufficiency, a hallmark of the Amish lifestyle that prioritizes living in harmony with nature and relying on one's resources. 
Furthermore, ice houses exemplify how the Amish blend traditional practices with the nuances of their environment, particularly in the face of modernity. While many outside the community have adopted electric refrigeration, the Amish continue to embrace and refine their methods of food preservation that align with their values. This not only helps maintain their cultural identity, but also reminds us of the simplicity and effectiveness of time, tested practices in an increasingly complex world. 3. Natural Spring Water In the Amish community, traditional methods for preserving food have been passed down through generations, and one of the most ingenious techniques is the use of natural spring water. This age-old practice not only exemplifies sustainability but also underscores the deep connection the Amish have with their environment. Natural spring water, often found bubbling up from the earth, remains consistently cold, making it an invaluable resource for keeping perishables fresh in a world without refrigeration. The cold temperatures of spring water create an ideal environment for food preservation. When perishables are submerged or kept near this cold spring water, the potential for spoilage decreases significantly. The water's low temperature slow downs the growth of bacteria and other microorganisms that cause food to decay. This method has been particularly effective for storing dairy products, meats, and vegetables. For instance, Amish families often use spring water to cool milk, ensuring it stays fresh longer, while root vegetables such as potatoes and carrots can be submerged to maintain their crispness and nutrition. This natural refrigeration system does not rely on electricity or modern technology, which aligns perfectly with the Amish philosophy of simplicity and self-sufficiency. Families often construct spring houses, small buildings built over the natural springs where they can store food items. These spring houses have stone basins filled with the cold spring water, allowing for easy access to the cooling benefits throughout the day. The well-insulated wooden structures not only provide cool storage, but also protect food from pests and the elements, showcasing an elegant blend of utility and craftsmanship. In addition to its effectiveness in preserving food, the method of utilizing spring water is also economical. Maintaining such a system does not involve ongoing costs associated with power consumption or equipment maintenance. The Amish utilize what nature has to offer, allowing them to live in harmony with their surroundings while reducing their reliance on modern conveniences. This practice also fosters a sense of community, as families may share access to a common spring, thus enhancing their bonds and support systems. Moreover, the values of sustainability and resourcefulness prevalent in Amish culture are sharply illustrated in their usage of spring water. These ways of preserving food reflect a broader commitment to environmental stewardship. By actively using renewable resources, the Amish model a lifestyle that prioritizes ecological balance and respect for the natural world. Their methods demonstrate that it is possible to maintain a sustainable household without harmful practices or materials, providing a blueprint for those looking to reduce their environmental impact. As temperatures fluctuate and seasons change, Amish families continue to rely on spring water as a trusted means of storing food. While the world around them becomes increasingly reliant on energy-intensive solutions, these communities maintain their commitment to a simpler way of life. By retaining traditional practices like food preservation in spring water, the Amish not only keep cherished family recipes alive, but also celebrate their heritage and ensure the sustainability of their way of life for future generations. Four stone caves. Among the various methods employed, stone caves stand out for their efficiency in maintaining cooler temperatures, making them an ideal setting for food storage. These natural formations offer a microclimate that remains relatively stable, even during the hot summer months. Understanding how these caves function reveals not only a practical solution, but also a deep connection to the land and the traditions that have sustained the Amish lifestyle for generations. Stone caves provide insulation against the external environment. The earth surrounding these caves acts as a thermal barrier, absorbing heat during the day and releasing it slowly at night, thus regulating the internal temperature. This property is especially advantageous when temperatures soar in the summer, as the inside of the cave can average significantly cooler than the outside air. Typically, this difference can range from 10 to 30 degrees Fahrenheit depending on the size and depth of the cave. This consistent coolness allows for the preservation of perishable foods such as dairy products, meats, and seasonal vegetables, reducing spoilage without the need for electricity or modern cooling devices. The types of foods stored in caves are carefully selected based on their natural preservation characteristics as well as the temperature control afforded by the caves. The Amish often rely on traditional preservation methods such as fermentation, drying, or pickling before storing these foods in caves. For instance, root vegetables like potatoes and carrots thrive in cool, dark environments which helps maintain their freshness for extended periods. Caves also provide an excellent environment for storing cheeses. The constant cool temperature and humidity levels prevent unwanted wood growth while allowing the cheese to age gracefully. Alongside these vegetables and dairy products, cured meats are commonly stored in caves. The curing process, which often involves salting and drying, extends the shelf life of meat products significantly. When placed in a cave, the combined effects of the cave's coolness and the preservation methods employed ensure that these meats remain safe to eat well beyond their usual expiry dates. Moreover, there is a cultural element to food storage within the Amish community. These practices reflect not only a deep-seated understanding of their environment, but also a commitment to sustainability and self-sufficiency that is central to their way of life. Another interesting aspect of food storage in stone caves is the communal sharing of resources among Amish families. Many communities have access to shared caves where food preservation is a collaborative effort. Families often store their harvested bounty collectively, ensuring that nothing goes to waste and that there is ample food available for all, reflecting the community-centric ethos of the Amish culture. This practice not only helps in managing food resources, but also fosters a sense of unity and mutual support within the community. 5. Fermentation 
in the Amish way of living, food preservation techniques are essential for maintaining a sustainable lifestyle, particularly in regions where access to modern refrigeration is limited. Among the various methods, fermentation stands out as a time-honored technique that not only enhances the longevity of food, but also boosts its nutritional value. The fermentation process involves the use of beneficial microorganisms, such as yeast and bacteria, which break down sugars and other components in food, creating a host of new compounds in the process. This biological transformation results in foods that are both safe for consumption and packed with probiotics, which can be crucial for gut health. The mish harness the power of fermentation in numerous ways. One common example is in the preparation of sauerkraut and pickles. For sauerkraut, finely shredded cabbage is mixed with salt and left to ferment in a cool, dark environment. During this process, the natural sugars in the cabbage are converted into lactic acid by the bacteria, which not only gives sauerkraut its distinctive tangy flavor, but also acts as a preservative. This lactic acid lowers the pH of the cabbage, creating an environment that inhibits the growth of harmful pathogens, thereby extending its shelf life significantly. Similarly, cucumbers are submerged in a brine solution and allowed to ferment resulting in crisp pickles that can be stored for months without refrigeration. In addition to vegetables, the fermentation process extends to dairy products as well. Amish communities often engage in making yogurt and buttermilk, which serve not just as delicious additions to meals, but also as probiotic-rich foods that foster beneficial gut flora. The fermentation of milk involves the introduction of specific bacterial cultures that convert lactose into lactic acid, thickening the milk and imparting a tangy flavor. This not only makes the dairy products more digestible, but also helps in preserving them for longer periods since the acidity deters spoilage. The advantages of fermented foods go beyond preservation. They also contribute significantly to the overall health of individuals consuming them. Fermented foods are known to be nutrient-dense, often containing higher levels of vitamins and minerals than their non-fermented counterparts. Fermentation enhances the bioavailability of nutrients, meaning the body can absorb these valuable components more easily. For example, the fermentation process can increase levels of B vitamins and contribute to the production of vitamin K2, essential for bone and cardiovascular health. Additionally, the probiotics found in these foods are beneficial for digestion and can support the immune system, reducing the likelihood of gastrointestinal discomfort and illness. Furthermore, the Amish way of fermenting food encapsulates a profound respect for nature and its cycles. By relying on the natural processes of microorganisms, they produce foods that bring forth the flavors of the earth while preserving them in a way that celebrates the rhythms of seasonal living. The ability to create fermented foods also fosters a strong sense of community, as these processes are often shared among families and neighbors, embodying the spirit of cooperation inherent in Amish culture. 6. Drying and Curing When it comes to preserving food without refrigeration, the Amish community employs traditional methods of drying and curing which have roots in centuries-old practices. These methods not only extend the shelf life of various foods but also concentrate their flavors, making them even more appealing. Drying removes moisture from foods, inhibiting the growth of bacteria and mold, while curing involves the application of salt or sugar to draw out moisture and create an inhospitable environment for spoilage. Both techniques rely on the principles of dehydration and osmosis to maintain the integrity of the food while enhancing its taste. Common foods dried by the Amish include fruits, vegetables, herbs, and meats. The joy of dried fruit, such as apples and peaches, can be experienced in the form of crunchy snacks or used in recipes, providing a burst of natural sweetness. Vegetables like tomatoes and peppers are often sun-dried or dehydrated, transforming them into flavor-packed additions for winter stews, soups, and casseroles. Furthermore, herbs are dried to preserve their aromatic qualities, allowing for the enhancement of dishes long after the growing season has ended. Curing, on the other hand, is most famously associated with meat. The Amish frequently cure pork using methods such as salting and smoking. This process not only extends the lifespan of the meat, but also infuses it with rich, smoky flavors that characterize many traditional dishes. Bacon and ham. Staples in the Amish diet are prepared through curing, allowing families to stock up for colder months when fresh meat is less accessible. Amish communities often set up drying racks in well-ventilated spaces to ensure optimal airflow and prevent any moisture retention. Sunlight is also harnessed, particularly during the summer months when fruits and vegetables are laid out to dry, taking advantage of the warm, dry air. By relying on these natural elements, the Amish adhere to their values of self-sufficiency and sustainability, ensuring that their food remains wholesome. Moreover, the practice of drying and curing reinforces the Amish commitment to community. Neighbors often gather to assist each other during the harvest season, sharing methods and resources. This collaborative spirit strengthens bonds and ensures that traditional skills and knowledge are passed down through generations. Preserving the art of food preservation that has helped the Amish thrive without reliance on modern conveniences. In essence, drying and curing are not merely preservation methods, they are a connection to heritage, family, and community. 7. Cool Pantries These specially designed spaces are constructed to maintain lower temperatures through natural methods, providing an effective solution for food preservation. The basic principle behind cool pantries involves utilizing the natural insulation of the earth combined with strategic ventilation systems to create a consistently cool environment that wards off spoilage. Amish cool pantries are typically located underground or partially buried, maximizing the earth's cool temperature. With thick walls and limited exposure to direct sunlight, these pantries can regulate internal temperatures even during hot weather. The strategic placement of windows or vents allows for air circulation, helping to keep the atmosphere fresh while controlling humidity levels. This careful design not only extends the shelf life of various foods, but also ensures that flavors remain intact, offering a taste reminiscent of fresh produce. 
In addition to the structural aspects of cool pantries, the Amish also employ traditional preservation techniques. They tend to harvest seasonal fruits and vegetables at their peak ripeness, which enhances the effectiveness of cool storage. Foods such as potatoes, onions, apples, and cabbage are staples in their larders, in part because they naturally thrive in cooler conditions. By utilizing these techniques alongside their cool pantries, they ensure that their food supplies remain viable throughout the harsh winter months. Creating a similar environment at home can be achieved with some thoughtful planning and design. Homey owners interested in replicating the Amish Cool Pantry concept can focus on selecting a space that is shaded and cool, such as a basement or cellar. Insulating the walls and roof can greatly enhance the temperature regulation, while strategically placed vents can promote airflow. Additionally, utilizing wooden shelves and baskets can aid in maintaining proper organization and help to minimize moisture buildup, which is key for preventing spoilage. Ultimately, the Amish approach to food preservation reflects a deep understanding of their environment and a commitment to sustainable practices. By merging traditional skills with innovative adaptations of their natural surroundings, they have mastered the art of keeping food cold without reliance on electricity or refrigeration. This time honor method not only preserves the integrity of their food, but also fosters a deeper connection to the land and seasonal cycles within their communities. 8. Seasonal Eating The Amish have a long-standing tradition of seasonal eating, a practice deeply rooted in their agricultural lifestyle. By aligning their diet with the rhythms of nature, they optimize the nutritional value of their meals and enhance the flavors of the food they consume. This approach is an integral part of how they maintain food without the use of modern refrigeration methods. They understand that eating in tune with the seasons not only makes sense gastronomically, but also supports their connection to the land and community. In the summer, when gardens are bursting with fresh vegetables and fruits, the Amish take full advantage of the season by harvesting produce at its peak ripeness. They preserve these foods through canning and pickling, ensuring they have a diverse array of goods to rely on during the colder months. For instance, tomatoes grown in the summer sun can be canned and enjoyed throughout winter, providing a taste of summer even on the chilliest days. This method not only reduces spoilage by using produce at its freshest, but also eliminates the reliance on artificial preservation methods common in conventional food systems. Another crucial aspect of seasonal eating within the Amish community is the emphasis on buying local and in-season foods. By sourcing their ingredients from nearby farms and markets, they greatly reduce the time between harvest and table, which is essential for maximizing freshness and taste. This practice fosters a strong sense of community as it encourages mutual support among local farmers and consumers. In turn, the local economy benefits, creating a sustainable cycle that relies on minimal transportation and packaging. The Winchester market plays a pivotal role in this seasonal cycle, serving as a hub where individuals from the community gather to exchange goods, share knowledge, and celebrate the harvest. This not only strengthens community bonds, but also raises awareness of local agricultural practices, drawing attention to the value of sustainable living. Moreover, the importance of seasonal eating extends beyond the individual, impacting the environment as well. By choosing to consume foods that are in season and locally sourced, the Amish reduce their carbon footprint associated with transportation and storage. This environmentally conscious choice reflects a deeper philosophy of stewardship for the land and resources. They view the soil, plants, and animals not merely as commodities, but as integral components of their lifestyle and identity. 9. Community Sharing In Amish communities, the practice of sharing excess food plays a crucial role in maintaining food security, particularly during the harvest season. This tradition extends well beyond mere goodwill. It is intricately woven into the fabric of daily life and sustains their agrarian lifestyle. When the harvest yields more produce than a family can consume, sharing becomes a communal ritual. The dealings often unfold in the context of mutual support, where food surplus is exchanged freely, and ensuring that nothing goes to waste and all members of the community benefit from the bounty of the land. During the harvest season, the Amish embrace barter and trade, allowing them to stockpile a diverse range of food items without reliance on commercial systems. Instead of using currency, they prefer to trade goods and services within their community. For instance, if one family has an abundance of apples, but another family has a surplus of corn, they will likely exchange these goods. This community-oriented approach not only strengthens relationships, but fosters an economic system that is resilient against fluctuations in the external market. It's a form of food preservation that provides reassurance, knowing that those in their community will have reciprocal support when they face a shortage. The sharing of food also fosters a sense of responsibility towards one another. It's not uncommon for the Amish to gather together for canning parties or harvest gatherings where they collectively process the fruits of the season. This practice enhances not only the efficiency of food preservation, but also reinforces their strong communal bonds and interdependence. By working together, they ensure that the produce is stored properly, whether through canning, pickling, or fermenting, all of which are techniques that require skill and experience. The additional benefit is that these methods extend the life of the food, allowing families to enjoy it throughout the winter months when fresh produce is scarce. 10. Minimalism Central to their practices is the principle of minimalism, which they apply not just to material possessions, but also to their food storage techniques. Living a simple, self-sufficient life allows the Amish to rely on traditional methods that have been passed down through generations. By embracing this minimalist philosophy, they effectively manage their food supply and storage without the need for modern refrigeration.
One of the primary strategies the Amish employ is the careful selection of produce and preservation techniques that take advantage of seasonal availability and local resources. They often cultivate their fruits and vegetables, allowing for fresher ingredients that can be consumed quickly or stored for longer periods using time-honored methods. For instance, the Amish understand the importance of cooling techniques, using root cellars as a natural way to keep perishable items like potatoes, carrots, and apples cool and fresh. The consistent cool temperatures of the earth help to prolong the shelf life of these foods, thereby reducing the need for refrigeration. Furthermore, the Amish practice canning and preserving, frequently processing fruits and vegetables into jams, pickles, and sauces to ensure a steady food supply throughout the year. By using simple ingredients and minimal processing, they maintain the integrity and nutritional value of their food while also abiding by their belief in mindful eating. This approach fosters a deep appreciation for the flavors and qualities of locally sourced ingredients, encouraging a more profound connection to the food they consume. In addition to these methods, the Amish community also understands the importance of maintaining a clean and organized food storage environment. Proper sanitation practices ensure that their food remains untainted by bacteria or spoilage. Containers made from glass or ceramic are often used for storage because they are free of harmful chemicals and help to maintain the quality of the food stored within them. Ultimately, the Amish approach to food storage exemplifies a blend of simplicity, sustainability, and mindfulness. Their ability to maintain food without modern refrigeration underlines the effectiveness of ancient practices that rely on nature's resources and the community's shared knowledge. This lifestyle not only impacts their food storage, but also embodies their overall philosophy of consuming less and appreciating the abundance found in, in a world increasingly focused on convenience. The Amish remind us of the value inherent in traditional methods and the benefits of a minimalist lifestyle. The Amish lifestyle, characterized by its commitment to simplicity, community, and sustainable practices, demonstrates an exemplary model of how food can be preserved and kept fresh without the reliance on modern refrigeration. Through techniques such as root cellaring, canning, and mindful food sharing, they not only secure their food sources but also reinforce the strong bonds within their community. Their minimalistic approach reflects a profound respect for nature's resources, showcasing the benefits of traditional practices in a contemporary context. Ultimately, the Amish way of life serves as a reminder that by embracing age-old methods and fostering interdependence, we can create a more sustainable and resilient food system.